There isn't a time Manny Viveros can remember where he wasn't involved in the game of hockey. If you add up all the seasons as a player and now a coach, the Silver Knights bench boss has more than 40 years of experience out on the ice. Hockey has given him a dream realized, a career, a way to feed his family, and now a second chance at life. I was in a video meeting with our players here. My uh, other uh, coaches were going through the video, and then my, for whatever reason, my phone was, was, was lighting up. His phone went off. Normally, he doesn't keep his phone with him. I know none of our coaches have phones in the video room, and he just left. We said, Manny, we have uh, you know, some bad news. Then, for me, Vince, it was completely a shock. You know, exactly it's something from one day you think you're perfectly healthy, next day you don't know where you're going or what direction you're going to go here. Before every training camp, players and coaches alike at the National Hockey League and American Hockey League level go through medical testing. For Manny, a routine blood test turned into a life-changing event. Unfortunately, I've been diagnosed with prostate cancer. I had taken a leave of absence for the first part of the season here at the very early stages of this to try to figure out a game plan of what we want to do going forward. Now that we have one in place through the doctors, we have an opportunity now to be able to go after this and treat this. Two weeks after the start of the Silver Knight season, Manny had made public what his staff and players had known for weeks. And they were devastated when they heard the news. It was tough for them to hear. He cares about his players first and they care about him back. And, and they'll do everything they can to, to be successful for Manny. That doesn't mean they will be all the time, but they will try as hard as they can to be successful for him. There's no question about that. For me, it was it was hard. I mean, he's a, he's a friend and a colleague and somebody I've known for a long time. Jamie Heward has known Viveros for nearly six years. He was on his staff for three seasons with the Swift Current Broncos of the Western Hockey League before rejoining him here in Henderson. Heward served as the interim head coach during the first four games of the AHL season, using Manny as the team's motivation. Now you've got a reason to play for somebody that you really care about, and that can be your, you know, that can be your rally and cry during tough times. If you need a reason to come to the rink every day, make Manny a reason to come to the rink every day. If you're getting out of bed and you're sore, remember how sore he is and remember all those things that he's going through. If you were to head out to Lifeguard Arena and watch Viveros operate on the ice during practice, you would have no idea the daily struggle he goes through. And while he admits it's been hard, he refuses to slow down. Do I not get as upset as I used to on the bench? No, I still do. <laughs> <laughs> I still do. The funny part is, he says, you know guys, uh, you guys make the line changes, I'll kind of just stand, stand around and kind of ease my way into it didn't take him one shift <laughs> he called out the next line and we looked at each other and we just said so much reason into it manny and he's just like i know i know <laughs> i couldn't help myself being here um it gives me that opportunity while i'm with the guys here to put it away for a few hours a day not think about it too and, and get back what i love doing most is, is is you know being involved in hockey coaching hockey manny viveros has the support of his team his organization and his coaching colleagues it hits close to home he's in a fight right now and and the prognosis looks positive, but um, you know it, it puts into perspective, uh, if anything, some of these little things we're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. He's a brave man, and uh, you know I hope everything goes smooth. Shane Theodore beat testicular cancer at the age of 25, and has since partnered with Susan G. Combe in Nevada, helping create Kay's Power Play, named in honor of his late grandmother who battled breast cancer. Manny Vivero says he sees himself on a similar path to that of the Golden Knights defenseman. Sorry, I have to break up every once in a while here. Um, this is not about me, and I don't want this ever to be about me. It's about everybody else. If I can help someone, help my boys, my players, my teammates, early detection is everything. Get a test, get a simple test. Um, it can save your life and, and uh, we're pretty confident it's going to save mine and uh, that's something going forward here, excuse me for this, but um, it's something that if I can help someone else in any possible way, I want to do it. If I can be a positive spokesperson going forward and stuff like that. Uh, and again, 
it, it's, it's about everybody. You know, like I'm not the only one in the world going through this. If we can help someone uh, going forward here uh, with early detection and help beat this terrible disease, uh, let's do it. I'm like anybody else. I, I want to beat this and I want to get back to a normal livelihood as much as I possibly can. And that's, uh, that's what my goal is going forward. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in American men behind only lung cancer. One in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. So the message from Manny, go get checked. Now, since the diagnosis, doctors have been running tests, continuing to monitor his levels. And so far, they received good news in that the cancer has not spread. Vivero says he feels great, but he will be taking another leave of absence next month in advance of his surgery to remove his prostate. He tells me his recovery time is about two to three weeks, and he intends to return behind the bench for the final stretch of the AHL season. I'm Vince Sapienza, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.